Okay. Oh. <laughs> Please make that the intro. Just. Oh. Hi. Okay. We're headed to my storage unit because six months ago I bought a lot of inventory and I put it all into a storage unit and I have not touched it since. It's actually very embarrassing. I spent, I think, 8,000. No. No, no, no. We came to a better agreement. He was six, six, eight. Look, I don't even remember how much I spent on this. That's how bad this is. So let's say 8,000. I think I spent $8,000. I would imagine he said that there was only like 5,000 pieces. I actually think that there's closer to 10,000 pieces because I did go through, I think, four of the garbage bags. And in those four garbage bags, there was hundreds of pieces and there was well over a hundred garbage bags. We had to upgrade the storage size when we picked it up. We had to get a full giant U-Haul truck to go pick it up. Wild story. So what happened is um, there was someone who followed me online. His name's Owen, very nice person. And I knew him from going to the bins. He was a teenager who got accepted to a great college on the East Coast and he moved out to the East Coast, right? He couldn't take all of his inventory with him. And so I bought it, I bought it. And this was at the height of like, everything was closed, nothing was open. I was like, this is perfect. Like we're gonna have a long time of me not being able to get inventory. So I'm gonna buy all of this inventory. Everything reopened and now I just have a storage unit that I literally haven't been to since June, July maybe. Either way, it's been like six months, it's January. So I am going over there today for the first time. I, I don't even remember how to get into the building. I don't remember how to get into the building because I don't remember the building code. So yeah, let's go check on the storage. I'm going to try and fill up my car and bring some of it back to start listing on Poshmark. This is where my storage is. It's in here. I don't know how to get in. Let's hope the people are nice and they can help me figure out how to get inside of it. I know it's in this building. Okay, short term parking. Yeah, we're just going. I don't know. I'm parking here for a second because I need to figure out how to get inside. So anyway, that's that. Let's go. Let's go see what what my situation is. Excuse me, sir. How do you disarm your unit first? Help me. How? Uh, the quick check-in outstation. I have to go to the quick check-in checkout. Where the hell is the quick check-in? Why can't that just be the quick check-in checkout station? They definitely have my stuff secured. Don't worry. No one's getting in, including me. Okay, let's try this again. Third time's the charm. Where's the quick check-in section? Yes! yes! <laughs> okay. Oh no. He just said it was a keys on my keychain. <sighs> Come on. Oh, oh, I wonder if it, that's the wrong one. Is it this one? <gasps> no, I've definitely paid rent. Thank you. So it can't be that. Uh. Oh! I was just trying to get into someone else's, it's fine. Okay. Oh my God. There's so much stuff here. Just a full room full of trash bags. I don't even like know how to start processing this. What am I gonna do? Okay, so this is what we're working with. I don't even know where to begin. Like, where do I even start with this stuff? There's so much of it, you guys. Okay, so I guess I need to just like start taking it home bag by bag and going through it. Like, here's a bag. 
it would be smart to bring like Hulken bags here and then just sort it, I guess. Cause like, I don't, if I'm not gonna actually list it, do I need to take it home? Like this is a UCLA alumni jacket. That's not really something I would list. I'd probably just donate that. This is a Adidas crew neck. I would definitely list this. We have like a teddy bear coat from Pendleton. This is actually really cute. It's like a Sherpa teddy bear. We all love Pendleton. Stuff was all freshly washed. Like you can tell he washed it all. It smells like laundry detergent. This is just like a White House black market crappie sweater. A North Face child's thing. An Eddie Bauer men's pullover. Like this isn't stuff that I would normally pick up, but um, it will definitely sell. Like these things sell for 20 bucks. You know, I didn't pay much for this stuff at all. Well, in bulk I paid a lot, but uh, that's like a Billabong sweater. I'd probably just garbage or uh, donate that, not garbage. And then there's stuff like this, <laughs> like a Patagonia Cinchilla vest. This is such a good find. Like this, no problem, probably $75. And I have <laughs> bags of this stuff. I would estimate probably like, there's probably $50,000 sitting in this that needs to be sorted and organized. And I just have to start doing it. So anyway, that's like a big goal of mine. Here's a Vineyard Vines jacket. I just bought almost this exact same jacket a couple of weeks ago at Goodwill. I paid $10 for it. I have one already sitting in here waiting for me. And this one, a Roots jacket. Shout out to my girl, Brittany. She'll probably want that. We have a Nike golf jacket, a pink jacket. And what's this? Another Patagonia piece. So, you know, that's, that's what we're working with here. I'm literally just gonna have to go through it bag by bag and make different piles like Keeping this, not keeping this, keeping this, not keeping this. So I'll do a couple bags right now since we're here. And then you guys can follow along on this crazy journey. But I know a lot of you had asked for updates. So I did list a bunch of this. Um, I sold some of it. I made like $770, but I didn't sell a ton of it, right? Like that was just like maybe 1% of what was in here. Look at this super nice Nike golf jacket. Like this style is very on trend, very nice. This is an Aloe Yoga, which is one of my favorite brands to sell. Sweatshirt. I could probably sell this for $40. It needs to be washed. Everything in here I'm gonna have to wash again. It just is what it is. But um, I can tell he did. I think he washed most of it, but that doesn't mean that like it doesn't need to be washed again because it's been sitting for six months in a storage unit. So more Nike Golf men's nike tech he found he was really good at picking like the nike stuff so there's going to be a lot of modern nike pieces in here and this stuff is very on trend mm, north face <laughs> okay we're gonna go through two bags and then we're gonna see how many pieces there are and like how much i estimate just those two bags this is a really nice columbia jacket and then we have a adidas this is kind of like worn i'm not gonna keep that um this is a nike powerman series top uh, i don't really know what this is i don't know i'm gonna put this over here as like a maybe i'll probably lot up some like same size stuff this is just an adidas long sleeve workout shirt we have some sort of jacket who makes you Another Nike sportswear kind of trench. No, it's not a trench, like a hooded um, jacket. This is a sample. It does say sample on the front, but that's fine. This will still sell. We have a Merrill jacket. It does have some wear on the armpits. I'm probably not going to list this. Like this fabric is just kind of weird. I don't know if this is something I'll list just because of that wear. And because I have so much stuff to get listed. Um, what else? Come on. Look at this. There is so many items in each of these bags. <laughs> That's a lot of Nike. Here, let me get through these 
two bags and then um, we'll do some guesses of like how much I think this is worth and how silly it is that I have all of this stuff sitting in the storage unit. So it definitely has to be a goal of mine. At first I was like, I can just list one bag a day and that's a very doable thing, right? Like if I can get all my stuff listed, get one bag a day listed, this will go by in a couple months. The other thing is I'm paying like $150 a month to have this storage unit. Like I have to get this stuff out of here. So that's what's going on Mountain Hardware. All of these are gonna be name brands. Uh, Nike, this Nike shirt is trash though. Like it's very worn. Um, Adidas, Nike, that, I don't think I'll list that. That's like a very cheap Nike shirt. Um, Nike shirt, a kid's Nike shirt, but again, the, it's very cracked. And some of that might've happened from sitting in the storage unit. Um, a Nike track and field shirt, a Adidas Lions, like football club shirt. And by football, I mean soccer in other countries. <laughs> uh, more Nike, more Nike, just so much Nike. Okay, so we went through two bags. What does it say? Running with the force, that's fun. Nike, all of this is like Nike stuff. Let's see. So in these two bags, I am going to take home Okay, so there's 10 items that I'm just going to be redonating, and there's 34 items I'm keeping in here. Let's say that my average sell price on these 34 items is just $10. That's $340, or my profit. Let's just say average profit $10. $340 that is sitting here, and that's not even like a drop in the bucket to everything that's in this, this storage. <laughs> so this is like an embarrassing thing for me, but I hope that you guys can relate that this job is hard. It's hard to find the balance between like going out and shopping all the time and actually listing everything. There is endless deals. There's people are always like, there's never, there's not gonna be enough stuff. The competition is too hard. That's just not true. I could go out every single day and find items to buy and sell in all different places, right? Not just at Goodwills at thrifts, but through connections that I've made. However, I have to actually get the items listed and that's the hard part. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Um, I'm still going to be doing thrift videos. Obviously, I love going to the thrift, but I also have to get focused on getting this stuff listed. So I'll keep bringing you guys back and updating you on how it goes. OK, let's go through a couple more bags since we're here. I'd like to take home at least 50 pieces today. Um, so we're going to open up some more bags and I'm going to walk you guys through like why I am taking some stuff home and why I'm not. So I'm going to go through this bag. Let's see. The first item I can already tell is good. <laughs> this is a cool brand, K-U-H-L fleece women's jacket. I would definitely pick this up if I saw it at this thrift. It does have some like peeling on it, but that's very easy to take care of with a sweater shaver. Um, size extra small. We'll probably get this listed for like $35. So there is another item. The next item. Oh, come in here. Where are you? This is a Nike fleece jacket. Let's see. There, so, the, so this guy who owned all this stuff was 17. Um, he had tens of thousands of items listed. He would like go to the bins every morning, go home and list his stuff. People always tell me like, you have to have a social media present. It's the only reason you're successful. This kid was making more money than I made as a teenager in high school and he still got into like a, a crazy good college on the east coast he's gonna become a doctor like he's pre-med like it's all this crazy stuff so i really don't believe that you need a social media presence or you need anything fancy i mean he's just selling bread and butter brands but he was selling them like hot cakes and his average sell price was probably like 25 30 dollars but he just got it done and he was literally like taking photos on cement like he would just like throw the item on the ground take a few photos list it with like the bare minimum the listings would just say like see photos for details <laughs> like no measurements nothing and he was selling stuff because he was buying stuff that people wanted 
Um, so this is just like a Nike fleece. It's an older Nike fleece and it's an extra large. So we'll take this home, $25 on that one. Oh my God, a North Face Denali jacket. Hi, we love these. These sell incredibly well, probably $50 right there. <laughs> Guys, this is so embarrassing. This is a, look at this, this is so on trend. A Columbia Teddy jacket. We love this. This is another 25 to $30. That's a great color. More fleece. This must be like all fleecy stuff. Um, this is an Under Armour like fleece base layer. This is just like 15 to 20. Oh. <laughs> Amanda, this is another North Face Denali jacket. How many of you guys think are in this, this storage? This is very depressing. Okay, here it is. Great jacket. Hi. Another 50 bucks probably. And I can already tell that this yellow jacket is something exciting. I don't know what it is yet, but it's like some sort of snow jacket that looks very, very nice. It's like got fake fur on the lining. Mark sample. Oh, Volcom. Look at this snowboarding jacket, you guys. <gasps> this is nice. This is a few hundred dollar jacket. I need to get this listed like immediately. I'll probably price it at like $150. It is incredibly nice. It's in really good shape as far as I can tell. It does say sample at the bottom there that that's not going to stop anyone from wearing it. Oh my God. Let the kids ride free. Coat. And it has like all the it says, do not remove this label or the mattress police will arrest you. That's very funny. They're obviously making a joke. Yeah, I'll show you. Has like all the detail for the jacket. You see at the bottom there. Okay, let's grab another bag. See how much money we can make. Okay. I'm just grabbing from the front because that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Stop it. I already see at the top there's a big North Face logo. Oh, God. I need, okay. Yep, here we go. Another North Face jacket. This is a small men's, incredibly nice. This is a nice North Face. And uh, I don't know how much I'll sell it for, but probably listed it for at least $50. Like North Face jackets sell really well. There's more jackets in here. Are you? This is an REI women's extra small um, down like puffer jacket. Incredibly nice, good condition. There are some stains like grease stains on the front, which is pretty common with this material. If you guys don't know that these wash out really easy with Dawn blue dish soap. <laughs> Crazy. I know, but I used to have a lot of friends who are mechanics. Uh, they would work on like classic cars and they would literally like douse all of their clothes in the blue Dawn and it gets everything out. So douse this in blue dawn let it soak for a little bit and then you just wash it and all of those stains should come out so yeah there we go probably another 35 dollars there i am like so embarrassed and this is like next level for me of how embarrassed i am that i just let this i don't know what brand this is d-a-t-u-m i have no idea what brand this is um let's see I don't know. Uh, this is a nice jacket. It feels like it's down inside of it. And I will have to look it up here. Oh, oh. I, okay, next up is a Spider, which is another great brand. Spider, there's the logo. This is another like puffer jacket. I don't know what it's filled with doesn't feel like down inside of it. Let's see. Polyester, nylon. Yeah, it has a nylon fill or a polyester fill, which is fine. This brand is very expensive. Again, this jacket brand new was definitely uh, probably over $200. The Prima Loft jacket, nice and packable. I'll probably start this at like $75. Okay. Oh, do you want to take a guess at what this is? A North Face jacket. 
how many North Faces have I had sitting inside of storage this whole season, guys? Um, this is a 550 down jacket, very expensive once again, and I will, <gasps> okay, hold on, I'll get this listed, but I was just thinking, there is a North Face brown puffer jacket, and that jacket was worn by like some pop star, Ariana Grande or something, she wore it recently. It is extremely rare to find. It's like an old vintage North Face jacket. If I find it in here, that's like a thousand dollars. Maybe I will. I'm just putting it out in the universe. I'm finding all these other North Faces. Maybe I'll find the brown one. <laughs> Who knows? We can wish. We can put wishes out there. More. Wow, this is nice. Oh, shit. Guys, I'm dying. I'm like, I don't, I'm so upset with myself right now. This is like, I don't know what this is. There's probably like a down payment on a house in this storage unit. Do you guys want to know what this is? Yes, Nicole, we do. Oh, you do? Great. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. Is the zipper being weird? Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, it's like a double zipper. Duh. I know how a zipper works. Don't worry. Hold on. This is where you put the commercial. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then the, the SpongeBob uh, meme. Okay, Nicole can work a zipper. It's uh, Oh shit, the zipper is broken on this. I will get this zipper fixed because this is a, look at this, United States Olympic Nike jacket, down filled, incredibly nice. Look at the inside. It says, this is your moment, men's size large, the zipper is just like being weird, but I can definitely like pay a seamstress to fix the zipper. Not an issue because I'll probably list this for $200. And if I'm wrong about that and the comps are like 20, these are guesses. Don't yell at me in the comment section, please. I'm already yelling at myself enough. Okay. Oh, this is brand new tags. There you go. Stop it. Stop it. What's wrong with me? I'm literally fired. I'm fired. I'm going back to getting a corporate job. This is a brand new Attack spider jacket. This is a spider. It's a kid's jacket, um, but it doesn't matter. This is an incredibly nice jacket. And again, probably $50 right there. Woo! <laughs> Did he just like, is this all jackets in here? I would love that. Ha! Huh. This is a Helly Hansen. Oh my God, this is the good stuff. Look at this. These are snowboarding pants, but these are like the good snowboarding pants. These aren't the cheap snowboarding pants. This is like what, or ski pants. This is like what professionals are wearing. It has like the hooks to hook onto your snowboarding, uh, like boot thingies. Never been snowboarding or skiing, can you tell? Anyway, this is the good stuff. More of that, no idea what that sells for because I don't know enough about that. Um, yeah, this is all jackets in here. Oh yeah. A Columbia women's medium parka. Very, very nice. Down filled. No idea what that's going to sell for. What are you? A piranha jacket, a piranha long quilted. This also puffy. I don't think this is down filled, but very nice winter coat. All of these winter coats will probably sell for 50 bucks a piece. Like, stop it. So bad. Oh. If I told my reselling friends about this, well, I'm telling them right now, I guess, in this video, but like if I called up my friends, like uh, you guys know Kayla, Hazel Hearts Vintage, or Erica, Caddy Britches, my full time friends, and I was like, hey guys, I found, I have this pile. This is just one pile. There's you know, 20 more of these piles, they would be like, you have to send it to us because you're not worthy. <laughs> um, this is incredibly nice. This is a vent, a Vince pea coat, but it's like a, a sweatshirt material pea coat. So Vince is a very expensive brand. I wouldn't be shocked if this jacket was $500 brand new. And here it is sitting here. I'll probably sell for a hundred. Just a hundred dollar bill sitting in my storage. And a North Face base layer fleece 
long sleeve crew neck in a men's size large, 20 bucks. Oh my lord, it goes back. There's, I, I'm guessing that the like film, the footage doesn't like you guys. They're coming here. That was four bags. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. Joe has them stacked all like that's probably that's probably three or four deep. Da -na 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 -da -na 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 -na. Nicole could swim. This is like my Scrooge money pit, except it's just secondhand clothing. Oh. Oh, wow. It goes deep. It goes deep, guys. It goes deep. Let's make another throne for myself. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Please make that the intro. Just... Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We can do this. I gotta, I gotta stand. It's too hard to sit and look through these things. There's too much stuff. Oh! This isn't exciting. Where's this from? I don't even recognize this tag. This is a Tahari. I mean, this is exciting enough. This is expensive. This is a Tahari puffy jacket. It's actually pretty cute. I like the way the hood is. Um, and it will definitely sell. So take that bad boy home with us. There you go. This is an express men's, oh. And honestly, this is probably from leaving it in the storage unit for so long. Look at the fabric cracked. That's for me not taking care of it. So that's the problem with leaving your stuff sitting for so long is it starts to fall apart because this isn't temperature controlled in here, I don't think. So it gets hot. It doesn't, it's inside. So it's not like extreme temperatures, but it's going to get hot and cold and hot and cold and stuff like that will happen on fake fabric. So that's a fake leather. It's gonna crack, it's gonna fall apart. Um, so the fact that I can't just keep leaving this stuff in here for many reasons, including, you know, stuff is falling apart on me. Oh, this is nice. This is an ACG by Nike. Um, all climate gear, Nike jacket. It's a down filled hoodie. We like that one. I'm just gonna estimate that like all the down jackets are gonna be 50 bucks. Oh my God, another Nike puffy jacket. And what are you, what are you? This is an older Columbia jacket and it's missing the hood. Um, you can probably still sell it though. The woman's extra large. It's definitely a snowy type of jacket. And there's nothing wrong with it outside of missing the hood. So I am going to take it home with me. Okay. You guys like how I examine these? Ooh, what's wrong with me? T TRF collection by Zara. This is a woman's outer coat from Zara. This style is actually very on trend right now. These kind of like big oversized coats you wear over like sweaters and stuff. Ooh, there's another. What are you? Hi. Oh God. This is a Babaton wool coat. These can sell for, um, depending on if this is a style that people are looking for, this can sell for around $150. <laughs> So Babaton is a Aritzia brand and this is a gorgeous, gor I know that this isn't doing it any justice. It's a gorgeous wool coat from them. Size small, definitely need to get that listed immediately. Okay. And then we have in here two more jackets, it seems. Maybe three, three. Da, 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 a vest. This is an older J. Crew down filled vest. It's a black one. Um, I'll still sell it because it's a nice quality. Probably 20 bucks on that. And then we have a really nice mountain hardware quilted vest. I believe this is also down filled. He liked down filled stuff. He was just looking for that kind of item. It's another 35 bucks and then a mountain hardware soft shell jacket, a size 
men's large, another $40. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this haul. I'm gonna take this stuff home with me today, um, get it washed, get it ready, prepped, get it photographed. And then we'll come back again once I finish getting all of this listed and we'll just keep clearing this out. I don't know how many trips it will take, probably a lot, but luckily Amanda is willing to come with me to figure this out. I can't believe I let this sit for six months, um, but I am still happy with my investment. I mean, there's a lot of money to be made in here and luckily this isn't trendy stuff. This is like technical outdoor gear. So I don't have to worry about it necessarily being out of style immediately, if that makes sense. Um, which is one of the big issues with having a, a death pile or a money pile is every day that it's not listed, it's going further and further out of style. You have to think about these things, but here we are. I am opening up my death pile to you guys. We're gonna get all this stuff listed and I'll let you know how much money I make at the end of the day. When we come back here next time, I'll tell you how many items have sold, what my profit is so far, and hopefully, we make back the money I <laughs> invested. I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. And then some. So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Oh, and remember my catchphrase. If it's not listed, it's not selling. <laughs> if it's not selling, you're not making any money.